I've got a truck full of stolen goods from a house that I had just hit. I'm driving down the street, and there is numerous police. My heart dropped. Like, I know it's going bad right now. I was scared. I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm panicked. I'm feeling like, oh, shit. adrenaline is pumping. I'm like, it's going down. But consequences will always come up and bite you when you least expect it. Seven years I've been in and out of prison. For years, I've been doing this my whole life. People know me, you know what I mean? Like, hey, what's up, Red? How you doing, baby? Hey, you all right? Yeah, what's up, baby? Everybody in this prison knows who Red is. I would never mess with her. She just doesn't take me You know what I mean? And so people respect that. Why? Oh, OK. My social status is different because I've done enough time. I don't get with. I don't snitch on people. I don't talk to the police. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care about your business. I'm, I'm, I'm me. The thing about prison is it's emotionally hard. It's not necessarily physically hard. It sucks being told constantly when, where, how, what you can do and how you can do it. It's the emotional aspect that will drive you crazy in these places if you let it. Watch your mouth, Miss Day. You have all this time on your hands to worry, 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 figure this out, analyze this. Oh, poor me, I didn't commit that crime, or I did commit that crime. What have I done with my life? This is not like a man's prison. And men come together, men support each other. Women tear each other down. That's a nice lady right there. Oh, yeah. She's, she's a real peach. Has a sparkling personality. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Well, oh, oh right. she's going to make she's a whole little, She yard. is like a football she's player. She's cutting that, the yard That's one way to do it. I don't do a lot of the friendships in prison just because there's no trust. Oh, my God, I was just talking about that. Once you she walk been out. But uh, me and Sarah got close. We kicked it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. She's funny. She's just a really good present. She's fun to be around, you know what I mean? Like, you can crack up and joke and laugh and just have a good time. She's like, let's play, let's play foot massage. I'm not touching you. Oh, Your toe is webbed. In prison, you're with your friend 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't see your regular friends like that at home, except for your spouse. I'm not looking at you, I'm not looking at you. You'll be all right. Do <laughs> good down there, man. 90 days and you're out. It hurt me to say goodbye to her because I didn't want her to feel like I'm leaving her behind. But for me, it's a good thing. It's time for me to go. Gay way. This yeah. is a non-gay hug. Non-gay hug. I this love you too, This is a non-gay hug and a non-gay way. Man. I love you. I will, baby. Take care. In three months, she'll hit work release. Being here, she wouldn't. So I was happy that was Sarah was going. You know, I'm happy for her. Sad that I don't get to kick it with my friend. Ah, oh, that's stupid, man. I'm going to miss you. Yeah. It was so lonely, so I called my mom, Debbie, my adopted mom. We had a pretty good conversation. We just were talking and opening up it a little bit, and at the end of the conversation, she had kind of surprised me and told me that she was going to come up and give me a visit. My mom I never came and see me. Our relationship has always been rocky. most important thing I can do is to say, you know, I apologize. And, and, and an apology means nothing without change. So I wanted her to see that's not who I am anymore. Miss Moss! I fell, you know what I mean? I hate my crimes. I hate looking back um, because it's so dark. Do I deserve to do time? Yes. Yes, I do. I committed a crime. I hurt people, and I deserve to be in prison. My mom raised me that if you mess up, I'm not going to be there for you. And she turned her back on me, and that's what some of my anger and some of my stuff came from. Why do you think you're here? Did I not love you enough? Oh, we're going to jump right into that, huh? Oh. Yeah. 
know, I made those choices um, because I was too weak or lazy to make another choice. I know that now. I wasn't strong enough. Now that I am older, now that I can place everything the way it is, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I've always felt like without you, I would fall apart, that I would disintegrate. Do you think we can have a mother-daughter relationship when you're released? Do you think? If you can walk the walk. I now know that an apology means nothing without change. My actions have to follow it. I just, um, it's just hard, you know? I miss my daughter. Really? Yes. Okay. So I'm still mommy's little girl? It was just like time had stopped. It was just me and her again, and none of the boys. Just me and her. It was nice. I have always wanted Leah to be my daughter in every true sense of the word. I wanted to go shopping for prom dresses, plan weddings, lunches, and movies, and you know, all the things that mothers and daughters do. We've never had that. And I think maybe if she really stays true, I'll have my daughter. I'm in prison to heal and to change. And I hate that I had to hurt people to get there. I hate that I had to destroy myself, but you have to destroy something to build it back up. So that's what we're doing. Laying a stronger foundation when I can actually stand on don't collapse. Yeah. So I'm sorry. I'm crying again. <laughs>